What up guys, this is uh, Kong and today I'm going to be talking about Dragon Ball Super uh, episode 127. I know it was a little messy in the background, I'm going to clean up, but uh, let's talk about it. So this episode is kind of, uh, didn't really live up to the hype. So what I'm talking about is that, you know, we were gonna get the full power uh, Jiren. And we got full j power Jiren, that's for sure. But the way to display Jiren's power was not really the full power. To, in my eye, he's not really full power. One is because three people have to, three people could take him on. So I was like, oh, okay. Okay, uh, that's just like, you know, defeat the, the purpose of Jaren releasing his, you know, being full power. And not even the first one, that's the second step, the second issue. The first issue is that when he released this, um, excuse me, this so-called um, full power, you know. You know, in this picture, in the, in the preview in the last episode, you see, I would say three auras, one aura is around him, and then the second around him, and then the third around, a big one around him, and then you have a little kind of, uh, I guess a little bit of resemblance of the purple, kind of like the God of Destruction, purpleness, uh, kind of a slightly, uh, a tint, a slightly small amount of it, let's just say. The way they execute it, his full power it just didn't really do it. It, it felt like this was a really letdown prior to the first fight between Goku and Jiren. You know, I thought that first fight between Goku and Jiren was epic. It was great. It was like, oh yeah, I'm down for this shit. I'm ready for the full power Jiren. But we didn't really get the full power Jiren. I thought he, he did not look and feel like the full power Jiren that I thought he should be. I feel like they sh what they should have done was he should have this aura, right? That that he should have have developed his technique where uh, they should develop his 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 technique much better. In a sense, where you know, remember he when he clear us something. He could stop them in their track. I wish, and then, and even before that, when he was meditating, he had this, I guess you could say, this shield around him. And they couldn't, nothing can really, like, get inside. And I, like, I wish they would have taken that route where he, he had this massive shield. Like, nothing can, 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 you know, break the barrier. Because he had that massive, uh, 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 you know, power or key or or essence that really that no one can really come close to him. Hence, he have no no blind spot or no uh, uh, weakness in his in his fighting technique or his fighting. So. That would have been a really good route to show that hey, this dude don't have a, a blind spot. He can detect spot. You can't get close to him because he had this aura of flame that uh, spell heat. The moment you get closer, the more closer you get, the closer you get. You know, uh, I guess uh, uh, vaporize or you know you get torch. That would have been a really great, that would have been more imposing Jiren. A walking Jiren where you can't even get close to him. Where you have to shoot power beam at him, fight at the distance instead of close distance. And, and also the thing that really uh, bothers me was how he did not detect uh, Android 17. Thinking that he didn't have... 
you know, a, a blind spot or a weakness in his fighting style. And remember, this is the guy who Black hit, okay? And um, and he had released his, all his uh, key or his power. And he should have been able to detect Android 17 behind his back or coming to his back, you know? So I think that's why I was kind of like, oh man, you know, it's like, what a letdown. It's like, he could have spot Android 17 like a miles away, even more than a miles away. Just, and, and because he had released that power of sensibility that he should be able to detect where they are coming from. But it's not like that in the, in the uh, episode 127. Um, Android 17 got a hit on, um, you know, um, Jaren, and Jaren in this episode got a little cocky, and that is typical of of, of of any anybody or any person with great power. You know, psychologically and physically, they get cocky, they get arrogant. You see that with Thanos. You see that with Dark Side. You see with that with Frieza. You see with this is the typical arrogance trait of most. Villain, most villain, and he he fucked up. He think he fucked up, but he like fucked up. Uh, Android seventeen, you know, a uh, barrier, and he just little like smashed him. I thought that was oh yeah, that's great that Android seventeen can do can um create different kind of shielding, and that's cool. That's interesting because well, I personally have not seen it. That's cool, and then the fight. Uh, with Frieza, you know, Frieza like, man, fuck this, I'm gonna kill this motherfucker, Jaren, and he go, go and Frieza, and you think that Topo almost wipe out this motherfucker, Frieza, okay? He almost wipe him out from existence, and yet he's able to transform to go and Frieza, you know, and then going after, and then go, and then Jaren proved him wrong, Jaren stopped and dead in his track, and he let it punch and kick Frieza out of the out of the way. So and then and then and then also Vegeta comes out of the you know the big final blast that he did that he gave up all his energy and he should have been wiped out from that point. Should be dead laying down like like this. But no, he got up. He's ready to go again. I'm like uh, at this point. It's getting almost annoying, you know. It's like they don't know how to uh, the story writer. They don't know how to make the uh, the fighting style or not the fighting story the story to make the the players the fighter actually exhausted. Yes, I understand they're saying, you know, but no mortal have infinite. Stanima. You just don't. Yes, Toriyama say that, that you know the biology is like there is a cap. There is a point where you you plateau. That's just in everything. In a, in human we have that plateau. We can't get it. You, we can't break that plateau. Yes, I understand this is Dragon Ball Z and they, you break the shell and what and what not what not. But there is a point where there's a, there's yeah, you flatten and you fall down like you 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 hit rock bottom. You know, finally after that final blast, go Vegeta should have been like out cold, not out cold, but exhausted and just like I need to get all my energy back. You know. So then and then uh, so then you know Jaren does that big blast and then you know uh, uh Andrew seventeen you know did uh. Put a barrier on, you know, um, Goku and Vegeta and himself, and he self destruct. Okay, uh, like he give he, he give his life to save the two. That's you know that's a great sacrifice any friend can do for his his uh, his uh, can do for his buddy. Great, but it didn't feel like it was well deserved death. You know. Uh, 
it didn't feel like it. It didn't feel rewarding. And then one thing is that also uh, Goku, no, Andrew 17 and Jiren was able to do a punch. I guess you can throw a punch, punch hit. And he was able to hold his own after Jiren full, released his full power. And I'm like, what the fuck going on here? This guy released his full power. Andrew should have lost his arm. Like, vaporized his arm. Like, he lost an arm. Like, he never had an arm in the first place. But yet, he was able to withstand that hit. And it's just like, what the fuck's going on here? And you, to me, it was the writer. It was like, this shit doesn't make sense. If a guy who's stronger, stronger, it's like, okay. Just imagine, you know, like the Hulk going against, uh, you know, uh, against uh, Cyclone, but for example, and he throw a punch against Hulk's punch. You know whose punch is going to oh, outpower the other punch. It's Hulk's punch is going to obviously outpower Cyclone's punch because of his sheer force and, um, Amount of behind it and velocity that's traveling. Cyclops would have lost his arm right then and it would have been gone. Blood would have been going everywhere, you know. But we don't see that with Android 17. I understand he's an android, but you got a guy who's strong enough to push back the uh, Donkey Dama explosion ball back at Goku. And yet, Andrew 17 is able to withstand his punch. It just didn't make sense. That's why this, this episode at Dragon Ball 127 really is, didn't really make sense. It, it was like, what the fuck? What was going on with the writing? Didn't really make sense. It's like, you guys really make Jiren not as powerful as he should be. And then also, I want to talk about his backstory. I didn't really care about his backstory. It wasn't interesting. It was just dumb. It was like little Jaren, like okay, his family, you know, his village was destroyed. Didn't provide credible emotional attachment, emotional emotional impact on us and on the character. It just felt. Nothing. It didn't feel like it was there. It was just... Personally, I didn't really care. At this point, I just didn't really care because everything just didn't make sense. You know... It shouldn't have problem taking on three people. When you release that much power, your speed, your stamina, your punches should be... Like... Like... Planet busting, you know, or beyond that, but you know, no, you know, Jaren is three Goku and Android 17 can throw, take, give, give uh, Jaren a hit. I was like, yeah, uh, so enough of my rant. I did not like this, uh, uh, uh this episode, Dragon, uh, Dragon Ball's episode 127. It was flat, it was, uh, like luster, it was, uh, boring. It didn't provide epicness to me in my eye. It it, it dumbed down Jaren in my in a sense. So alright guys, what do you think? Do you agree on my uh, my comment? Uh what did I think? Do you like do you like the uh, episode or you do not like? Uh what did you like about the the what part did you like and you don't like? Or do you agree with me and you disagree? Uh, what what do, what do you think of Jaren's? What do you think of this episode? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to read and see what you guys think. Like I said, this episode is kind of... Kind of flat, dumbed down, uh, watered down. Didn't really live up to the name Jaren. So, anyway guys. Uh, please like, thumbs up, share, subscribe, browse my channel. Most importantly, thank you so much for your time and effort to watching my Dragon Ball review, episode 127.
Thank you guys. Bye bye.